Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from My Something Beautiful Life and today I am going to show you the Clever Fox Meal Planner. Clever Fox did send me this planner for free and I am so excited to be able to share it with you. It's called a meal planner, but it's actually like a full well-rounded health planner. Like it's amazing all the different things that are in here and I'm, I just really love it. Like this is really cool. I did get the pro version and so this is seven by 10 inches. They also have an A5 size if you are looking for a little bit of a smaller planner. I think the layout is slightly different, but it has most of the same features. But I really think that calling it a meal planner isn't doing it justice because there is so much included in here. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the cover. This is the light pink color, even though it's almost more of a peach color, but it's really pretty. I, I really love it. And it has this embossed design on it that's more of like a coral or salmon color. I love that it's soft and flexible and it just feels really good, like it's a very smooth texture and so I just love that. It also comes with three ribbon bookmarks that you can use to mark your place throughout it and in the back there is a pocket and the elastic strap that you can use to hold it closed if you need to toss it in your bag. So the first thing that you see when you open it up is they have this little guide on how to use the planner. I love that Clever Fox includes this with all of their planners. It just kind of gives you some ideas about how to use it in case you just don't know where to start. But then of course, if you do know what you wanna do with it, then just jump right in. Then also it has a little warranty card. They have a really awesome return policy. So if it's not working for you, if you don't like it, you can always just return it. But I have always loved all of the Clever Fox products that I've tried. Their paper's amazing. It's 120 GSM, which is really thick. I've never had anything bleed through it. Even felt tip pens. I mean, I probably wouldn't use a Sharpie on it, but if you just have normal felt tip pens, they don't bleed through. It is a really, really nice thick paper. The first page that we have in here is calories and macros for common foods. And so it just has a basic list of different things for reference. You have a starting point page and then a goal page. And one of the things that I love about Clever Fox planners is that they always incorporate goal setting into each of their planners. You have a space for your goal here, why I want it, and then some action steps to take. I think this is really helpful because it gives you a chance to brainstorm what you can do to actually make that goal happen. And once you have possible action steps, it's so much easier to actually make progress towards those goals that you set. The next thing that we have is a two page spread of an exercise calendar. This is undated and so you can just use it however you want. They have boxes that you can fill in. I actually think this is kind of small. I'm not really sure how you would use it, but if you were tracking things like reps or time, that might be just something easy that you could do. Or maybe you just wanna mark the days that you plan to work out. You could also use it like a habit tracker to just mark the days that you did work out. I do kind of love how it's flexible so that you can use it however you need to. And then we get into the months. So this is a 12 month planner. The whole thing is undated so you can start it at any point. So you have the monthly calendar, you have some goals and things that you'll do better this month. Just some little reflections that you can work on. And then the next page you have your monthly review pages where you can track your measurements and your weight. And then it gives you some journaling questions that you can reflect on the month and see how it went and what you can do better in. And I'm a firm believer that reviewing at the end of the month or week or day or all of the above is very helpful when you are trying to reach specific goals. It gives you a chance to realign back to what you're actually trying to accomplish. So in this planner, all of the months are together. So you have the monthly calendar and then the review and you have 12 sets of those before you get into the weekly pages. Okay, and then similar to the months, all of the weeks are also grouped together. So you have 52 weeks, I'm assuming. You have enough for a year. So all of your weekly pages will be in here after the monthly section. And this is where it gets very detailed. As you would expect from a meal planner, you have space here to track breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for every day of the week. But what's unique to this is that it includes the other health aspects as well. So you have this week's main goal, your priorities, a to-do list, a habit tracker, and then an activity tracker. And then you also have some blank space down here that you can use for whatever you'd like. For the to-do list, I like the idea of using it for meal prepping ideas, anything that you might want to prep ahead, or maybe you want to track some exercises that you'd like to try, maybe something you haven't tried before, 
or just something that you would like to get further into, that would be a great way to use this to-do list space. And then along with the meal plans of each day, you also have this little information section that you can fill out to just track some of your stats for the day. And of course, while this is a meal planner, which would imply that you would plan your meals ahead of time for each day, you also could use this as a food tracker and just track what you ate that day as well and just keep that in here. It doesn't have to be something that is pre-planned, although it definitely could work either way. So over here in this little section, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on this so you can see it better. So here you have space to track your weight, which I know it goes back and forth whether some people think that you should track your weight every day. Some people do, some people don't. Either way, if you wanted to track it there, it is. Or if you track it once a week or once a month, just fill it in on the days that you do. You have veggies, fruit, and caffeine counts your sleep, and then your steps, and then you have a water tracker, your mood for today, and your energy level. And having all of this information can be really helpful because maybe your energy is really low or your mood is really low, and you can see where they correlate, or maybe even compare it to what you were eating that day, because what you eat could definitely have an effect on how you feel or the amount of energy that you have. And I love that with this, you can keep track of the information that will allow you to see the patterns between all of this information. And so that's basically what you get for each week. They are all the same. And then after the weekly pages, you have some other tracker pages. So here's a weight tracker and it has space for a whole year to track your weight once a week just to see how it's changing throughout the year. Here's a measurements tracker that works the same way. There's enough space for every week of the year. And then you have the results page. And this goes back to the front where, let's see if I can find it. Right at the beginning, you have this starting point page. Here's your results page so that you can compare between the two and see how much progress you've made throughout the year. You have a notes page here, and then you go into some recipe pages. And there's not a ton of them, but I think you have room for 12, 14 recipes. So this can just help if you have a few certain recipes that you like to make a lot. I probably wouldn't use this for recipes that you want to try, but once you find a favorite recipe, it would be really awesome to be able to keep it in here. And then you could even go back and use this as a meal idea when you're planning out your meals in the future. And then what's really cool about it is they also have these shopping lists in the back and these are perforated. So you can actually rip them out along these dotted lines right here and take the list with you when you go shopping. So you've got a few pages of those. Let's see how many there are. Okay, so you've got seven pages of those front and back. So there's eight lists per page, unless you use it double-sided, then you could get four. But yeah, so there's seven pages of those. And then in the very back, you have some more notes pages, which is another one of my favorites from Clever Fox. They always include note pages in the back, which I find so helpful because there's always little extra things that you may wanna keep track of. Like if you have a set exercise routine or certain meal plans, you could also use this for other meal ideas. Like if you wanted to write down all your favorite breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, you can use this space to keep track of all of those. And that would definitely make planning your meals easier because sometimes when we're trying to plan out our meals, we can't always think of ideas. And so it's always helpful to have a list of your favorites here and just some ideas to work from or if you have other stats that you want to record or just other notes, maybe you took a health training and had notes from it, something like that. Anyway, there's the notes pages for anything else that you might need. And then in this back pocket, you actually get six sheets of stickers, which I think these are so cute. My favorite ones, I will show you, are these little avocados that are exercising. I really love the meditating avocado and the meal prep stickers because I think meal prepping is so helpful. And then I also love these quote stickers because I just always love having the little motivation in my planner. So I love that they added these foiled stickers in here for you to just put on your page to give you a little boost of motivation if you are feeling discouraged, which we know always happens during health journeys. So anyway, I think this is just really creative. It's not what I was expecting at all when I thought of a meal planner, but it definitely checks those boxes and it just has so much more than that. And if health tracking is something that is interesting to you, I also have this video that I did on the Clever Fox Food Journal. You can go and check that out as well. 
and they have a bunch of other health planners. So I would encourage you to go check out their website and see all the different planners that they have to offer. If you have any questions about this planner or any of the other Clever Fox planners, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will get them answered for you. If I don't know them already, I will contact them and get the answer for you. But I am just always amazed at the quality of Clever Fox planners. I love them, which is why I continue to share them. They are amazing books and the people that I have worked with have always just been so kind and helpful. And for me, that is a big deal. I don't like to share about companies that don't have good customer service and good people. And Clever Fox Planners is definitely a company that I can fully support. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like planner videos, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>